What's up guys, Billy here, and today we will be discussing some of the changes made to the DJI Mavic Pro in the latest firmware update. This update, version 01.04.0000, was pushed out on September 19th, 2017, and is 207.2 megabytes in size to download. Here's a list of the changes implemented in this firmware update. You can pause the video to read over them, but now let's go over these in a bit more depth. The first newly added feature is Quick Shots, which was previously only available on the Spark. I actually published a tutorial video a few days that showed how to use these Quick Shots, so if you are a Mavic user, you may want to check that out. I'll be making an updated version for the Mavic within the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. Now this is an example of the Helix Quick Shot on the Spark, but now when we jump over to the Mavic and press on the Intelligent Flight Modes icon, Quick Shots is available to select. Although I am a fan of taking my shots manually, these do an excellent job at producing high quality cinematic footage. Now on the Mavic, quick shots are a little bit different than the Spark. First of all, Circle is nowhere to be found. The only available quick shots are Helix, Droney, and Rocket. I suppose you could use the Active Track mode to mimic the Circle quick shot if you'd like. Now as much as not having that Circle quick shot sucks, the customization on the Mavic compared to the Spark is so much better. First of all, distances for Droney and Rocket have been increased much further. I was complaining on the Spark how you could only fly up 90 meters with Rocket, but now you can take advantage of the full 120 meters or 400 feet on the Mavic. We're also able to choose the speed on the right side using the slider, something that is currently missing on the Spark. I'm not sure if the limitations are put in place on the Spark because it isn't as powerful as the Mavic, but I would sure hope to see DJI implement these customizations to the Spark in the next firmware update, because right now, the Mavic is doing quick shots better than the Spark. If I had to guess, it was easy for DJI to copy these over to the Mavic from the Spark, but they held out on doing so to give the Spark more of a selling point, having quick shots as a special dedicated feature. Next up is the newly added dynamic home point feature that is available when using Active Track. This can be enabled under the main controller settings underneath of the other two home point options. At first, when I read this in the patch notes, I was super confused because why on earth would you ever want the home point to update wherever the drone was flying? This is like your safeguard in case there is ever a disconnection. I did some thinking about it and came to the realization that it's actually a great idea when you don't have the remote in your hand and you just have the drone following behind you. If I could offer one suggestion, leave this feature off if you plan on taking your Mavic out over water. Now I did a count between when I started Active Track from the original home point and when the home point reset and it looks like it updates about every 20 seconds. If it's related to distance and not the time, I would say I walked about 100 feet. I really can see this feature being useful, especially on the Spark when using gesture mode and this will be coming in the next firmware update for the Spark. The final bullet point states, adjusted the color in normal mode to vivid. At first I thought, well, did they entirely change the name from normal to vivid? Once I updated, I saw that that wasn't true. So from there, I set out to do some testing between the original footage right here and then again, that post-updated footage. Uh, so first, here is that footage from the older firmware. And then when we slide over the footage from the newest firmware, there's basically no difference that I can see. This could have just been a smaller tweak. I mean, usually they aren't as drastic as the full image quality improvement from the last firmware update. I messaged DJI support through Twitter, but they haven't gotten back to me yet. Uh, so if I do get a response, I'll put a little update in the comments section below. But guys, that wraps up this fairly small look at the newest firmware update for the DJI Mavic Pro. The biggest change, I would say, is the implementation of the Quick Shot feature. I think that they are really cool, really fun to use, especially Droney. I just like seeing the thing fly away from me, look down at the screen, and it's producing this awesome footage. So I hope that DJI will continue to add on to these in the future, just like they did with the Intelligent Flight modes. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.